Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to explain the operation instructions of the H802 OR settings. So I'm going to dive into the video. In this case, I'm going to I'm going to use the LED studio to explain how to do the H802 RA settings. So first you need to go here on the settings on your lead studio. Let me go on the settings here. Then you go on Adnet setting here on Adnet setting, then click on Adnet setting. So here on Adnet settings takes you on this page, which is written set RA Adnet setting on RA Adnet setting. So I'm going to explain what we have here. So here first we have the number, this number, and here we have the mark, and here we have the IP address. We have this IP address. So this IP address is the one, is similar to the one on the controller. So if I click here, you can see 18. If I go on the controller, it's also written 18. And here we have the next one, which is written the sleeve number. This is the sleeve number. So what basically mean the sleeve number is the number of controllers you are connected to. So here I'm connected to only one controller. So it's one, so you don't need to change anything. Here it's just a number of controller. So it depends using more than one controller, you need to come here and change the number of the controllers you are using. So here it's region sleeve number, you just need to change the number of controller you're using. H8 O2 RA act as a slave controller. So that's why it's written number of slave slave number here. So we have so these are slave controllers. So you use it as a slave controller to the master controller. So here on the IC type here is to choose which IC your setup is using if you are using the lead strip, which IC your lead strip is using. So to change the IC type, you just right click on your mouse here. Then you can see here on this arrow, you just click on the arrow, then you can change different kind of IC type here. You see we have DMX IC types. We have SPI protocol and DMX protocol. You choose which one you are using. So then let me move and see what we have next. And here I come on the length. So this is the length. So here on the length here, you need to correctly select the length of the luminary used, like the cable point. Note that the length of the luminary used cannot exceed the length value. So here if you need to change, change the length value. So when you're going to program, you're going to choose the length value. So here, make sure that your luminary length here should not be exceed the number of the number of the length you choose over there. So you don't need to change anything on the slave number is just auto. And here we have the our controller. In this case I'm using H07. It can also be used as a slave controller. So here in this case it's supposed to be R A O seven. After the above data is set, you come here and press save it's going to send the data to the controller, so it's a safety carry out your operation instruction settings of your slave controller.